gorgeous tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Gorgeous, the e-commerce help desk that turns your customer service into a profit center. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create macros, how to add customers, and how to create and manage tickets. We will also show you how to integrate Gorgeous with other platforms to increase your productivity. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Gorgeous, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate and click on the Sign Up for Free button. Upon clicking the Sign Up button, you will be redirected to the registration page. Here you'll have two options for signing up, either using your Google account or providing your email address. Choose the option that suits you best and follow the instructions accordingly. After successfully signing up, you will be prompted to set up your help desk. This involves entering the URL of your website and the URL of your help desk. Take your time to input the correct information, and once you're satisfied, click on the Create Your Help Desk button. Please note that the process may take a few moments as the system sets up your help desk. Once you've clicked the button, you will be directed to your account dashboard. This dashboard serves as the central hub for managing your customer support operations with Gorges. From here, you can access various features and settings to tailor the platform to your specific needs. Now, let's see how to create macros in Gorges. Macros in Gorges automate agent support responses. Macros can be used for various purposes, such as providing shipment status updates or sending gift cards to clients. To create macros in Gorgeous, follow these steps. First, navigate to the left menu and click on the three dots located at the top. This will open a drop-down menu. From the drop-down menu, select Automation, which will take you to the Macros page where you can view any existing macros. If you haven't created any macros yet, click on the Create Macro button located at the top right corner. Next to the Create Macro button, you'll find a drop-down menu that allows you to import or export macros using a CSV file. However, in this tutorial, we'll focus on creating a new macro from scratch. Click on the Create Macro button to proceed, and you'll be directed to another page. On this page, enter the name of the macro in the Macro Name field. Additionally, select the language for the macro. You can also add tags to the ticket, which will be helpful for searching and organizing your macros. In the Response Text field, type the desired text for the macro. This will be the predefined response that the macro generates. Once you've finished entering the response text, you can add actions by clicking on the Add Action drop-down menu. Actions can include forwarding emails, adding attachments, setting the status of a ticket, assigning an agent, and more. You can add any of these actions by clicking on it. After adding the desired actions, click on the Create Macro button to finalize and create the macro. With these steps, you can create macros in Gorgeous to automate your agent support responses, saving time and improving efficiency in handling customer inquiries and support tickets. Next, let's see how to add customers in Gorgeous. Adding customers in Gorgeous is an easy and straightforward process. Firstly, locate the three dots at the top of the left menu and click on them. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Customers option. This action will direct you to the Customers page where you can manage your existing customer list. To add a new customer, click on the Add Customer button. This will trigger a pop-up window to appear on your screen, prompting you to enter the customer's details. In the pop-up window, start by entering the name of the customer in the designated name field. Additionally, you can provide a small detail or note about the customer in the Note field. Moving on, enter the customer's email address in the Emails field. If the customer has multiple email addresses, click on the plus add an email address option to create additional fields for each email. You can add as many emails as necessary. Next, provide the customer's mobile number in the Phone Numbers field. Similarly, if the customer has more than one phone number, click on the plus add a phone number option to add extra fields for each additional number. If at any point you need to remove an email address or phone number for the customer, simply click on the trash icon next to the respective entry. Once you have accurately provided all the required information, click on the add customer button to finalize and add the customer to your Gorgeous database. Next, let's see how to create a new ticket. To create a new ticket in Gorgeous, follow these simple steps. Navigate to the left menu and click on the three dots located at the top of the menu. 
Clicking on this will reveal a drop-down menu with various options. Since we want to create a ticket, we will select the Tickets option from the drop-down menu, which will redirect you to another page specifically dedicated to managing tickets. Once on the ticket page, locate the Create Ticket option at the top right corner of the screen and click on it. This action will initiate the process of creating a new ticket. You will then be directed to a new page where you need to provide the relevant information for the ticket. Begin by entering the subject of the ticket in the designated subject field. If you want to add tags, you can also add them to the ticket by clicking on the plus add tags button. To assign the ticket to a specific user, click on the drop down menu next to the unassigned label. This will display a list of users to whom you can assign the ticket. Select the appropriate user from the list. Additionally, include the contact reason, product, and resolution details for the ticket as required. If you wish to copy the ticket to other individuals via email, enter their email addresses in the corresponding field labeled CC. Next, compose the body of the ticket email in the provided text area. Once you have finished crafting the email content, click on the Send button. By following these steps, you can create a new ticket in Gorgeous, ensuring effective management and timely resolution of customer inquiries and support requests. Next, let's see how to integrate Gorgeous with other platforms. To integrate Gorgeous with other platforms and applications, click on the three dots once again at the top of the left menu. This will bring up a drop-down menu. From the menu, select Settings to access the Settings page. Once on the Settings page, navigate to the left menu and click on the All Apps option located under the App Store section. This action will redirect you to the App Marketplace within Gorgeous. In the Apps Marketplace, you'll find a wide variety of apps that can be integrated with Gorgeous. These apps are categorized into various sections such as Featured, Chat, Phone, SMS, social media, and more. Browse through the available options and select the specific app you wish to connect with Gorgeous. For example, if you want to connect to WhatsApp to enable customer chat using a WhatsApp business account, click on the WhatsApp option. This will take you to another window where you can access detailed information about integrating WhatsApp with Gorgeous. You will notice that WhatsApp integration is free of charge. To proceed with connecting WhatsApp, click on the Connect WhatsApp Business button. This will prompt you to provide the necessary permissions and authorization to integrate WhatsApp with your Gorgeous account. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the integration process. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Gorgeous. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.